The symptoms of post-traumatic stress fall into three main bands. They are avoidance, arousal and intrusion. And just to unpack those three official sounding categories. The first thing is avoidance. People who've got post-traumatic problems tend to avoid places that will remind them or conversations that will remind them of the unpleasant events that they have been through. So for example, an ex-service person who's got post-traumatic symptoms might well avoid going to the pub if there were going to be people there who might want to get into conversation about what it was like in the services. They might avoid watching certain kinds of films or the news on the television or avoid uh, reading newspapers, for example. Eventually these symptoms tend to spread and generalise a bit and eventually a lot of people end up hardly even going out of the house for fear that they will run into a situation that they might find unpleasant. So the avoidance uh, symptoms can actually take over somebody's life and eventually make them quite agoraphobic or, uh, or even quite aggressive. Now the second band of symptoms is the arousal symptoms. These are the ones that uh, show that the whole mind and body of the, the sufferer is being wound up by the memories that are floating around in the back of their head. Uh, these manifest as things like uh, irritability, a hair trigger, um, sudden and potentially quite violent, outbursts of anger, rapid mood swings, physical tension leading to unexplained aches and pains, and very often a disturbed sleep pattern as well. The third band of symptoms are the intrusive ones, and these often manifest themselves during sleep when people who've been in extraordinary situations may well find themselves waking up having had quite vivid and intense nightmares about the things that happened to them or that they witnessed. Uh, but these don't only happen at night. Very often people actually get flashbacks during the day. You can actually get intrusive memories breaking through into normal waking consciousness. So you, you actually physically see things in front of you or pe feel that you've seen things in front of you that, that weren't actually there. There can also be other manifestations, memories, um, thoughts, images that you just can't control, basically. So those are the three bands of symptoms, the avoidance, the arousal and the intrusion. And put together, they, 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 they add up to quite an unpleasant package that, that can be very seriously disturbing and upsetting, distressing for, for, for many people.